I let Miss B pick out all the base components for this soap, except for the design. This is going to be fun. We will be using clear Rommelberry Melt and Pour Soap, blue slushy mica, orchid mica, and hot pink mica for the colors, fine silver rainbow glitter, and sea salt, mermaid and ocean themed embeds, and our fragrance oil will be Freesia Bubble Bath. All right, so I have a base idea for how this should look based off of our conversation we had. So I am going to play around a wee bit with some ideas for designs, and then I will get started. To start off the design, I am mixing the sea salt, blue mica, and eco glitter together in the melted soap base. The salt likes to clump together, however, I was not aware of that fact until I poured the soap base into the mold. Once the mica, salt, and glitter was mixed into the soap base, I added some of the fragrance oil. The scent really reminds me of my childhood and brings up a lot of fond memories. As you can see, some of the salt clumped up at the bottom of my measuring cup. I just scraped all the excess soap and salt out of my cup and into the first layer. Then I sprayed some rubbing alcohol on the layer to get rid of the bubbles and waited for the layer to harden. Next up is layer number two, which is our purple. I love this so much. The glitter with some mica powder and clear like our clear soap base is so pretty. It's like looking at a nebula. And there's actually a couple uh, galaxy themed soaps that I kind of want to try making based off of how beautiful this portion of the soap making process looks. Now we're on to the pink layer. I'm adding the fragrance oils to the clear soap base first and then adding my pink mica powder and the eco glitter. This is such a fun soap design and I'm gonna have to do more like this in the future. Um, my soap base could have been a little bit warmer seeing how it's sticking to everything, but that is okay. Next, we're gonna mix up our mermaid tails and seashells for the front of the soaps. This is just a chocolate mold that I bought. Always go silicone, not plastic. And here we have our finished product. Well, almost finished. We got our flags done and now we're going to attach Now we're going to attach all of the embeds. I sped this up quite a bit because this took me uh quite a while longer than I was expecting it to. I was trying to make the mermaid tails look like they're sticking out of the ocean or out of water and then having the uh, the pink and the purple of the flag kind of look like a uh, background or like a sky. And there we have it. Thank you for watching. If you like, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe and have a wonderful Pride.